go check that thing out. Okay. Mind the dead dog. I think there's more werewolf. More Wolfensteins. More wolves. More wolves. Oh, wolves. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is he doing it? Um, I'm not, I'm not, no, he's not doing it. Okay. <laughs> Trying to get his mouth to clip out again? Yeah. Um, okay, so I have to go in here. I don't think there were any secrets back there. You're sure? I'm pretty sure. Well, Should I go back and check? If there's secrets, if then there's how would you If there's any med packs, okay, I'll go check for med packs yeah. before I go in there. We'll see. We have a ton. We, we don't really need to. No, we don't have a ton. We're yeah. gonna run out. We're definitely gonna. You don't need them now, but we'll need them, especially when we get into the um, the lost world type situation. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, there's nothing back here. Or is there? No, there's not. What if this game is just not as difficult as you remember? Well, it, it probably isn't, to be fair, but, like, when you, you start getting swarmed <laughs> later on by those... <laughs> yeah, I know. My friend uh, Adam did that once. <laughs> did he really? Yeah. We were, tr <laughs> we were all trying to, like, go and hang out in my room. Yeah. And... Uh, my friends were all still nervous about my parents at the time, so oh, yeah. he, he like straight up walked into a wall. Oh. <laughs> my my parents made uh, my friends nervous for quite a while there. they your parents are not scary. Your parents are the least scary parents. They're not, and they they would always ask me like, why are all your friends so like <laughs> nervous about us? <laughs> I think it's because, like, we were being annoying and we would get yelled at when we were being annoying. That's true. They probably come from... Oh, God. Families that... Ah! We don't really care that much. Families that have uh, siblings, so I think there's a lot more yelling from their households. Yeah. Not so much from yours. Well, my, my they never yelled at us. I would just get called downstairs and they would be like, you're being really loud. And... <laughs> I'm gonna be straight up with you. That yeah. You're being really loud. You're being really loud. Can you guys not be loud? That's just teenagers, though. Yeah. yeah I didn't really have friends. I didn't really have people over. At you didn't house. have friends. <laughs> well, thanks. I was gonna cover that up by saying I didn't have many people over. At I love when the music stops. <laughs> what? What? It's like, check this out. What was that? Check this thing. Oh, what's that down there? I mean, you cram a bunch of teenage boys into a room, it's gonna get noisy. It's gonna get smelly. It's gonna smelly get smelly. Smelly as hell. It was so hard to keep the temperature in my room, like, <laughs> acceptable, that I eventually got a really old air conditioner. And the first thing I did when I got it was I turned it all the way up. <laughs> and I left it on, and it actually froze my windowsill. <laughs> There was there was ice. Good job. And it was awesome. I think you can actually ruin your air conditioner that way. Yeah, probably. Totally just freeze it up. I didn't know that though. <laughs> I was just so glad to not be sweltering anymore. They didn't give you the air conditioner talk. No, I never got the air conditioner mm. talk. They didn't cover that in school. They didn't have the air conditioner ed person. Uh, usually it's your parents that give you the air conditioner talk. Usually, yes, but. Like. Because they don't want you to hear about it on the streets. Right, yeah. Right now in Ontario, they're going through sex ed stuff in school. And once they get all that worked out, because people aren't exactly happy with it yet. Yeah. Once they get that all worked out, I hope they go into the air conditioning. They really problem. should. Because if you don't know, like, you could run your hydro bill up so fast. <laughs> uh, if you're watching, make sure you talk at length or argue at length in the comments about sexual education. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Especially if you live in... Uh... Especially if you live here in Ontario. Yes. No, what's better is if you don't live in Ontario. That's true. <laughs> yeah, we a... keep forgetting to call to action, you people. You, like, seven... Put you to work. The, you potentially seven or eight people that watch our videos. <laughs> you know would be really great? We had, like, 20. If we could add average 20, I'd be really happy. 
Yeah, that would be nice. Nice round number. Nice round number. And yeah, comments are always nice. Even if we know you in person, I want to talk to you about... Yeah, let's talk. I want to talk to you about these games that we play. Yeah. Because I have no idea what you guys are into besides what I already do know, which is just very little, to be totally honest. Did you see how I totally just bypassed all that bullshit? Nice job. Thanks. (laughs) What did you do? Did they just forget something? I just... You can just jump... Like, if you, you can see the where the pattern is so that you can jump right at the ledge and then just jump up and not have to deal with all that craziness. Good job. A lot of workarounds. Maybe that's what they wanted you to do. I want you to think. Anyway, what were you saying? Oh, okay. <laughs> Not a way to I'm go. I was saying that people should comment if yeah. they want, because I'm guilty of it too, where I'll be watching a video and I'll have something to say, and I just won't do it. I just won't comment it. And then it's like all the time, and I never do it. And it's there's really no point. It's true. Uh, that's what they always say, is people are more willing to say something negative than to tell yeah, if they have something. Yeah, I'm totally the same way. I mean, I hold back on my negativity on the internet because it's just futile. It's a futile system. It's a futile system. Futile system, yeah. But I'll be watching a video and I will have something. I'll give you a perfect example. I was watching a video on Bloodborne and the guy is saying, or he's telling you how to go and get grabbed by that big invisible monster in it. Or no, he's telling you how to go and get into the one area that you can only get into if you get captured. And he, the way he says to do it uh, wasn't the best way to, to do it. I knew the best way to do it. I could have really helped the community by commenting, but I said absolutely nothing. You horrible monster. <laughs> you need to voice your concerns. And I'll be reading, oh like, guides and, about games and things on the internet. Yeah. And I'll know how to do it, and I'll figure out a really cool, easy way to do things, to cheese the boss, and I won't just type it out, like, one sentence. I won't do it. You it's for no it. reason. You need to do it. I know I need to do it. You I need, need to, to s- break that habit. You need to start being part of a community. Yeah, especially because I want... A community of my own with this channel or our own I should say although I, I do have secret plans to kick you out of the, the pictures oh really this, yeah okay that's fine not really let's we'll start my own channel let's we'll start <laughs> my my exclusively Tomb Raider channel how do you like that <laughs> Tomb Raiden with Andrea bub I'd subscribe so remember I said I needed that golden idol yeah. I need it to get through that second door, and there is a gigundo bear down there. He's a bigger than normal bear? No, he's pretty normal. Ah, there he is. And you're just shooting him? Yeah. Oh, he's not hurting you. I know, but he will. This always reminds me of a parking garage, too. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything over there, and I should really... Did I kill him? No, he's hiding in the corner from you because you're shooting him. Are you sure? I didn't kill I'm him already, sure. did I? I'm not saying you should kill bears. I'm saying... Don't kill bears. Don't kill bears. Unless they're trying to kill you. Don't. If they're trying to kill you, though, wreck them. Just fight as much as you can. Uh, I don't know what's going on with them. I'm going to have to go check it out. When I was in Algonquin, that's what they said. Fight for your life if... I mean, check yourself before you wreck yourself. But don't go into a bear's habitat. And why did I do that? Yeah, don't Cecil the lion this. It's okay, all right. Um... I did it, so I could go up here and see if there's any secrets. Of which I'm not sure whether there is. We're out of time for this episode. Was I in here already? What's going on? What is this? I don't remember this. We're going to figure it out next time. Oh, like I need that now. Thanks. (laughs) So you can get back? Uh, we can, no, we can, um, run it for a couple more seconds because this is, well, I'll just let you see. Oh. It's the end of the level. Oh. I spoiled it. I'm oh, sorry. well. Oh. I spoiled it. I had to. Okay. Stick that idol in there. If there was only one option, why didn't I just backpack. do it? 
We do. Yeah, because you got to figure it out. Right. Because it was made by seven people in Derby. Yes. That's why. That's why. <laughs> okay, see ya. See you later.